Hello, this is Billie Eilish, and you're watching Nardwar's Video Vault. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. First off, who are... This shirt. This is fire. I like this. Who am I? Uh, only the best for Billie Eilish. <laughs> and who are you? Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. And right off the bat, Billie Eilish, I have a gift for you. An original 1968 yellow submarine corgi toy of the Beatles. Ooh. Dude, my dad would love this. Look, look at him right there. Ooh, look at his little face. Actually, who do we have right now? We have Patrick O'Connell, uh, Billy Eilish's dad, right there. And beside him? And beside him, we got Phineas O'Connell, my brother. And beside him? Beside him, we got Maggie Baird, my mama. And right up front, we have Billy <laughs> Eilish <laughs> holding the Beatles from 1968. <laughs> Sweet. And you love the Beatles, don't you? I love the Beatles. Do you have any original Beatles toys? No, I do not. I'm young. I'm too young for that. I am too young. I mean, the only things I have is like shit that you gave me last time I saw you. You gave me a little... What you gave me? Like pins and stuff? Oh, you remember! I remember! That's amazing! You Thank you. Pins? Thank you for not throwing that out. I still have them. You gave me a piece of gum. You know, I have that. Chewed it up. No, I did not chew it up. Billy Eilish, thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. Who the fuck is Ruby? Ruby introduced you to Green Day. Took you to Green Day. Oh my God. Yo, ew. Why do you know that shit? That's so irrelevant. Like, it's so irrelevant. Well, you were Billy Eilish. We have to know. Bitch, who told you that? Ruby Hirsch? Yeah, that was my, um, when I was nine, I had a crush on this boy and her, his older sister was Ruby. And she, that's crazy. Did she? Was it her? Come over here, Phineas, if you could. Could you please explain for Billy? Phineas has some pimple cream on his head. I do. Pimple cream. Self-care. Um, yeah, Ruby's a friend of mine. She's been a friend of mine since I was, like, born. And she uh, she was she was also a fan of Green Day. Introduced me to Green Day via Wake Me Up When September Ends. Good song. And actually, I have a gift for you guys right here. Turn it around, the soundtrack for a Green Day produced movie about the history of East Bay Punk. Cool. Wait, really? Yeah, with some unreleased Green Day, Blats, Up Ivy, and it's on blue vinyl. Oh, it's on Ocean Ivy? Yes. Oh, cool. A blue vinyl double LP. Oh my gosh. In honor of Ruby. In honor of Ruby. Love you, Ruby. Oh, Ruby. What the hell? Thank you, Ruby. And Phineas, yeah. now that you're up here, do you like guitar straps? What do you think about guitar straps? I love guitar straps. I feel like a lot of the time they're very boring and like run of the mill. And if you can have like an interesting looking guitar strap, even if you have like a like a squire guitar, like you look like you know what you're doing. Yeah. What do you think about Phineas wearing guitar straps? I love it. And Phineas, we have a gift for you. A Ooh. Beatles revolver Whoa. guitar strap. That's this right. is so cool. Is really wow. Hard. Should I put this on like a white guitar for the show? Close. That is so sick. Revolver. I love Revolver. That's one of my favorite albums. I love the cover art for this album. <laughs> that is so cool. That's crazy. Wow. Thank you, Nardwar. That's a gift for you. That's amazing. I love this. And tell me about Eric motherfucking Palmquist. Oh my God. <laughs> Eric Palmquist is a producer who uh, produced a band called Bad Sons that I loved um, in my shoes. early teens. Look at his shoes. Look at his shoes. Yeah, his shoes are pretty Damn. Amazing. He's a great guy, though. And he linked you up, kind of, with Danny. He is, yeah. He is managed by our manager, Danny. And the reason that we know Danny is because of Eric Palmquist. So, yeah. Because of your email. Because of my email. To which Eric The Palmquist. title of the email is Eric Flipping Palmquist. <laughs> now, what I find really interesting is Phineas graduated at 15? So did I. So but Phineas did. But Phineas did, too. Yeah, but, but, you know, my diploma is, like, written in catch-up. I don't actually know it. Who won? Who won the battle? Like, you graduated at 15. You graduated at 15. Who won the battle? She has more Instagram followers than me, so she won, I think. Yeah. Do you know how many more Instagram followers than me you have? You have 23 million more than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, thank you very much, Phineas, and doot do loot do Doot do Let's bring over right now Maggie. Your mom from last time? Yeah, what can you say about Maggie? Oh, what can I say about Maggie? Maggie Baird, the best mama in the world. Aww. I'm way too mean to her for how nice she is to me. That's very true. And Maggie, what can you say about Billy? She is the funniest, sweetest, most talented. She is really mean to me, but I love her so much. Billy often says, eat an earlobe. What does that mean? <laughs> She'll say eat anything. Earlobe is tame. Eat an earlobe. When did I say that one? Eat an earlobe. <laughs> like what a, does that mean? Like a fried one or something? I don't know. Like cut it off and fry it a little. Put dip it, dip it in some ketchup. Eat an earlobe. It just means stop it. Go away. I hate you. Yeah, I guess so. And I have a gift for you, Maggie, right here. A Kurt Vile LP. Oh. <laughs> You love the file, don't you? I love Kurt file. And I, I know where you got this, because I said that very a friend reminded me of Kurt Vile. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. How, how does Maggie get you off Instagram Live? Oh, yo, that's so funny you bring that up. I was sitting in, um, God, what was the parking lot? I think mom was like... She, I don't know. This was like years ago. I think. I don't remember. I was sitting in the car. Mom had to run into some store to get something. Earth Cafe. Earth. Get Earth. Boba. Matcha. Was that what it was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so that's what shows Before how you. long ago that was. Um, and I was sitting in the car and I went live. And there was a, I was playing with a straw. And I just had like... Like I didn't have any drink left. I just had the straw and I was like sipping in the straw. And of course my mom had just left. So I, I didn't think that she would know that I was live streaming. She left to go get me something in the store. And and she texts me because I was playing with the straw, right, in my mouth because I didn't even realize I was. It was just like, you know, hanging in here or whatever. And she texts me. She just goes, stop with the straw. And like a, like eight exclamations point, exclamation points. She loves those, doesn't she? She does. <laughs> it's true. So I, I had to end the live stream because of that one. And you met Patrick in Alaska? I, yes, I did. I'm, actually, I met him on a plane on the way to Alaska. He wasn't very nice to me at the time, but he won me over later. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Mikey, and do do loo do do do. When you do interviews, people love the sound of your chains. They do. Yeah. Do you like them? Do you like them? Uh, do you ever listen for the sound of your chains? It's really white noise at this point, because if, you, if I literally go like that, you can hear it. You see? You hear that? Just like a little... I don't know. It's it's like and I never am not making noise with my jewelry, so I don't ever notice it anymore. And I have a gift for you, Billy. A hundred and one Dalmatians record with Ooh. Cruella Deville Ooh. for you to sample. Damn. What can you say about hundred and one Dalmatians and Cruella and Billy? <laughs> I love Cruella DeVille. I think she is a fucking star. I, I mean, the whole like concept of this movie was absolutely horrendous, like just like horrifying. But if you just dis if you just forget about what her character did and <laughs> like her her uh, what's the word her motives, maybe if you if you forget about them, she is a real real life bad bitch. And she had the half the half white half black hair thing before anybody did. So props to Cruella DeVille. And oh, also, <gasps> look at her name, watch. So it's Cruella space D space Ville, right? But, so it says cruel, if you put a space there, then it's la, which means the, and then D-E-V-I-L, the devil. Cruel, the devil. Cruel, the devil. Cruella de Ville, fire. Genius. Now, also here, Billy, we have Patrick, your dad. Could you come up here, Patrick? Come here, Patrick. What can you say about your dad? What can you say about your dad? Um, I would say my dad is, like, me and my dad are very, very similar. I've, like, even, like, one of my best friends has said that, that growing up with me, because we knew each other, a friend of mine named Zoe, we grew up, like, with each other. We knew each other since we were, like, three. And she has told me that she did not understand my dad for, like, years and years. And then one day... <laughs> she was like, oh, he's you. And immediately, it was like, boom, we know him. Like, like that's, that's what she said to me, that it's just like, I am my dad. We're very similar. And Patrick, what can you say about Billy? 
<laughs> I love her um, her take on the world. She has always said and done interesting things, and especially taken pictures. And I used to make uh, whole files of her pictures and make slideshows out of them and set it to music because she'd take all these pictures of her. You know, that was all entirely on her own. I didn't discover they were there until I was going through the, the memory card on the camera. And but you love the Beatles too, right? Of course. Oh He's why we love the Beatles. That's guitar strap is incredible. Well, I have a gift for you right here. Some original 1964 Beatles figurines. Oh, look at this. You could put on a birthday cake, too. <laughs> well, my birthday's coming up July 7th. So there you go. And Patrick, that's for you. Thank you. That's for you. But I've never even heard of these. You know, you were asking her about original Beatles stuff. I do have Beatles cards. You gave her some Beatles cards with the gum still in it. And I have another gift for you, some Beatles cards from 1978. Oh, wait, what? With the gum still attached. Bro, how do you find this shit? Do not eat the gum, please. Why not? Uh, it, it's kind of old. <laughs> Basically like 40 years old. I bought them when they were, you know, in the store, and I still have Beatles cards, but no gum. I chewed it all up. Did you feel like eating the gum? I chewed it all up. What? Did you feel like eating the gum? That gum was fucking dust. I opened that shit up, it was like, pfft. no, I could not have to. Did you chew the gum? No. And you were also on Larry Sanders and the West Wing? Well, I was, yes. <laughs> Don't blink or you'll miss me. But and audiobooks, too. <laughs> and what? Where can people find you? Oh, oh there's Phineas right there. Uh, uh, where is your dad on the West Wing or Larry Sanders? An episode. <laughs> Behind a bar on an episode in an airport. What's West Wing? West Wing is a TV show that was all about the West Wing, which is the West Wing of the White House, which is where the president resides and does his business. And King Lear! Uh huh. King yes. Lear! King Lear. Yes. Your dad was King Lear! My note from my director in, the, in dress rehearsal was more eyebrows. <laughs> and you said that. I can do that. That's where I got it from. <laughs> Oh, not King Lear, right, sorry, Julius Caesar. I was in King Lear long ago, played Cornwall. The guy who gouges out, uh, what's his name's eyes? Your, da eyes. your dad has a great voice. He does. My dad has a fantastic voice. And he also does audiobooks? Yes, some. Which books? Oh, books that I had to use a pseudonym for. They were so objectionable. <laughs> <laughs> Anything more about the audiobooks? I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about them. We had to sign NDAs, but, uh, but Dad got paid. So, you know, food on the table. Well, thanks very much, Patrick, and toot do loot do Toot toot. Well, what I was curious about was, what do you think about celebrity endorsements? For instance, in this particular thing, the Hillary Duff sleeping bag. Uh, maybe you could open it up for a second. So, who is Hillary Duff, is the real question. Lizzie McGuire. Who's that? A famous oh, TV show. Lizzie McGuire. You can actually pull that right out, and you can actually see a Hillary Duff sleeping bag. Will there ever be a Billie Eilish sleeping bag? Um, this is hard. The fuck? Of course. Of course there will be. This is hard. Okay. This smells old as fuck. This uh, smells dusty. Billie, do you want to climb in it at all? <laughs> Just for fun? Just because you said so. Sure. So this is Billy Eilish. There's no lice in this bitch, huh? No, it's completely no clean. Bed bugs or nothing. Okay. This is Billy Eilish climbing into Hillary Duff sleeping bag. What do you think about that, though? Like a celebrity sort of sleepwear. Celebrity sleepwear. Good question, Nardwar. What do you think about it? Well, I was curious. What do you think about that? What do you think about it? Well, I think that works quite well. I think it works good too. This looks like some shit I'd wear anyway. Right? Ready for a sleeping bag race? Yeah. Have you ever had a sleeping bag race? I've ha I have. I have had a sleeping bag race. Who won? Um, I always win. The fuck? My mom would actually, like, organize them. But we called them, what, they, what do you call them? Like, potato sack. Hacky sack? Potato sack races, where we would get these, like, janky, like, tan burlap, burlap sacks. <laughs> and we'd, they were literally, like, this big. And we'd hop in them and we'd jump all the way across the field and back. So, yeah, I'm pretty experienced, man. Well, thank you very much, Billie Eilish. Keep on rocking in a free world. And do, 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 do. Do, do. Yeah.
Oh, no war. Aww. <laughs>